everyone how you all welcome back to the class guys i hope you all are doing really great and now we are moving ahead in our series of package of practices of horticultural crops that comes under paper 2 unit number 5 horticulture one syllabus line you will see that package of practices of different horticulture crops in this series we have already completed mango those who have those who have not seen it please see it first now we are in this particular class we are going to see about the banana same approach we will keep for the banana also the uh, approach we have used in mango similar approach we will use in banana right so without wasting any time so let's start so before moving into uh, banana let's see the quick recap of mango guys mango <laughs> whenever we are seeing pop of mango i have told you to keep certain heads ready and that is your botanical description first of all under this you should know the family you should know the genus and species and we have seen the varieties too over here family you know genus species just write it down i want it you to pause the video and write it down those who have seen those who are following this the horticultural series guys those who are not first see the mango series right botanical description after that you should know the origin of it and your area area under production that should be known then soil climate that should be soil is loamy alluvial which soil is not suitable for this particular cultivation of mango climate can you tell me the temperature can you tell me the rainfall rest you can write because examiner is finding exact detail right soil climate after that you should you have uh, done the varieties different varieties we have understood chonsa dashhari amrapali hybrid varieties can you name Andhra Pradesh variety, variety used for export, Alfonso. Alfonso is also known as, Alfonso is basically susceptible to which disease and what hybrid crop we have created to stop that disease. In the last class in mango, we have understood it all. At least we have something from this class in our hand, what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that I have told you everything. I have told you that you have to devote 30 minutes more after this class. So that 30 minutes more is to find out what you have studied and a little bit here and there. But you have some concrete information in your hand now. You must be realizing that, right? Climate variety, after that you must have understood about the fertilizer requirement. 150, 100 in the first year, then multiply by 10 in the 10th year. You must have understood about the irrigation requirement. You have understood about the propagating methods in the form of veneer grafting, anarching and epigotyl grafting. Epi I hope you have seen this, how farmers are utilizing it. I have told you in the last class also see in the YouTube how farmers are actually doing it. They have shown you exact practical, right? For those who are not from agriculture background, this is must for them. For those who have from agri background, they must have seen somewhere in their graduation, post graduation time, right? After that, you should know about the pest protection, about some pest you should know and about the disorders, physical disorders about mango you should know. Similar way, crisp we will keep for the banana. Right, let us move to the banana. Banana guys. See guys, banana is commonly known as this information is not very important, but when you are writing the introduction, this can be helpful, right? It is also known as Adam Fig Tree of Wisdom Tree of Paradise. Yeah, now as any POP we were seeing, first of all, botanical description <clears throat> we should know. Botanical description, guys. Do you know of uh, mango, mangifera, indica? Right. I hope you remember the family also. So similar goes for uh, here. We should know the family, genus, species. So this family is mu, se, ti, guys. Mu, se, ti. Genus is Musa and the species which is cultivated is Paradisica. Now this is basically triploid and what is triploid? Diploid this is a 
this has been done or explained in plant genetics and plant breeding triploid they have three x chromosome no need to remember but you should know 33 that's why they are basically seedless have you eaten any banana which have seeds basically the wild variety has seed wild species has seed but not the regular banana which we eat seedless bananas we have right when you will see the exceptional case where you will find seed is because they are of diploid nature and when diploid nature will be there then seed formation will happen because of this triploid nature seedless bananas you get right now if you ask about the origin is basically southeast asia right over here when you talk about the fruit type guys over here what is the fruit type of banana the fruit type is known as a berry berry fruit type and what type of inflorescence it has in fluorescence in the case of mango you have seen panicle in the case of hair you will see spadix yeah let me show you this you can see guys this is the inflorescence structure spadix over here if you go in detail then this is known as pathy these are you find spikes right but you should know that the spatex is the type of inflorescence we have in banana also one thing you will find that a banana is the monoecious plant guys monoecious see the spelling again mono e yes what do you mean by monoecious monoecious uh, and dioecious just wait monoecious means basically monoecious that this particular plant banana plant is monoecious means this banana plant is having both male and female flowers male and female organ both are present in the same plant whereas a dioecious you will find that only one particular type of male or reproductive organ or female reproductive part will be available only one kind of part will be available right not both also you will find that banana is also a monocarpic plant monocarpic what do you mean by monocarpic you should understand again the difference between monocarpic very simple guys monocarpic and polycarpic monocarpic are the type of plants which can reproduce or which can give flowering only once in their lifetime for example all field crops all the field crops like wheat maize lentils they will from one plant you will see flowering only one time right you will not see the you will not see that flowering is happening multiple times in that particular plant in that in their uh, life cycle only one time flowering happens so those type of plants are basically field crops and most of the field crops are monocarpic whereas one exception is there that banana is also monocarpic polycarpic means in their lifetime they will have multiple times flowering and that's why if flowering is happening fruits will be generated so mostly almost all fruit crops are polycarpic except banana understood so banana is monocarpic also monoecious so this is the introduction part which you can write in two three lines in your introduction of pop of banana right now who is the largest producer of banana in the world india all right guys the fruit which is cultivated in largest quantity in india is first of all banana then mango will come which state is producing maximum number of bananas or cultivating the maximum production of bananas basically andhra pradesh okay here only you add botanical description here only you add one more description that is climate and soil guys see i am writing making you write the keywords climate means again temperature what should be the optimum temperature and what should be the optimum rainfall soil we will be seeing over here it is a tropical fruit basically banana is a tropical fruit the temperature will be 20 degree celsius to 30 degree celsius i have told you if you are not remembering the climatic requirement 20 to 30 is the ideal temperature for all fruits right for all crops i am saying so you can remember 20 to 30 whereas in mango we have seen 26 degree 24 to 27 degree something right warm and humid climate because this is a tropical fruit so warm and humid climate you will find over here soil if you talk about then it needs sandy loamy soil water requirement is high 
pH you will find 6.5 to 7.5 pH is needed over here. So this is basically, oh, you this climate and soil must not be visible to you. Let me write again, or you can simply write climate 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, soil, sandy loamy soil, 6.5 to 7.5 pH. All right. Now we should understand about the varieties, guys. Varieties of banana. And the first most variety which is grown on the, which uh, like the mostly grown variety of banana under the banana segment, the most grown variety is dwarf Cavendish. This you should know. It is the leading commercial variety, guys. One variety is your Puvan and Rasthali. Another variety is your Robusta. Let me show you also. Over here you can see see over here guys. Puvan. Okay. Robusta. Rasthali. Pachandan. At least you should be familiarized with the word Grand Nene is nothing but your Cavendish. Okay. This a big Cavendish is uh, something else, and this uh, Grand Nene is something. Like. Grand Nene is your guys mutant variety. Okay. This is your mutant variety. For banana chips, you have suitable variety Nandrin, 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 Grand Nene, Puvan, Rastali, Robusta, Panchandam. This a dwarf Cavendish. Okay, write it down. These are the varieties which you should know. Four, five, which you have uh, seen. Nandrin, Grand Nane. Okay, at least you should be familiarized with these varieties. Now, apart from this, what is important is your propagation method. Very important, guys. This is something which you should know. Propagation method. Now, propagation method in this particular <clears throat> banana cultivation is basically asexual only. And it is generally done by root suckers. Now, what are root suckers, guys? Root suckers are basically whenever you will find a banana plant, banana tree, if you will find, find, you will always see that some stems will germinate under the ground and later on come nearby like this. I'll show you also. But this germination that has been happened is because of the rhizome. And from this rhizome, this stem will go underground and a birds will form. And these birds will grow out to be suckers and that's why we know we uh, say it as a root suckers right let me show you see anywhere you will find rhizome tree uh, sorry this banana tree over here you will find this particular as a root suckers guys simultaneously they will be growing and they have grown from rhizome only so rhizome is different and root suckers are different but from rhizome these root suckers have emerged see over here Anywhere you will find this banana tree, those who have seen must be understanding well, those who have not. Again, I am saying when you will be devoting 30 minutes extra to this video, this all you have to do. See the banana video and you don't have to go anywhere. You just see it on YouTube. Farmers have made videos on it, right? So utilize that guys. So over here you will see suckers and this root sucker is utilized for further propagation of banana plant, right guys? And see also that how it get propagated. This will also be very informative. Apart from that, what you have to know in over here that what is the planting time. Planting time is basically when there is suitable climate. Climate you know what is suitable plus availability of water. The suitable planting time of banana is that. Avoid cultivating banana in severe winters or heavy rainfall guys. Planting distance. In the mango case, in normal 10 meter, 10 meter over here, 1.8 1 1 meter to 1.8 meter planting distance should have, you should have. Now you also understand about the cultural practices. Under cultural practices, we see the nutrient requirement in the form of fertilizer, also the irrigation requirement. Irrigation requirement when you will see of banana, irrigation requirement. Banana is a water loving plant. So it needs water at every interval and these interval is different from its sowing time to the maturation time. For example, from March to April, you should give water uh, in an interval of 
one week that is seven to eight days interval after every seven to eight days may june you have four to six days july september you have again seven to eight days interval these are the intervals basically no need to remember but you should know whereas over here if you will see manure requirement fertilizer requirement fertilizer requirement first of all fym is added and it is 10 kilo per plant then nitrogen requirement is there that is 200 gram per plant then your potassium uh, sorry phosphorus requirement 40 50 gram per plant your potassium requirement 300 gram per plant this you should remember guys as it is and sorry guys that was not root sucker but sword sucker sword sucker is the name sword sucker was the propagating method which we were using right sword sucker okay so correct kar lena. now some methods which are only done for banana cultivate cultivation is a de-suckering de-suckering means what do you mean by de-suckering de suckering automatically the this word associates uh, the word is saying that we have to remove the unwanted suckers we have selected the sword sucker which we need for propagation now unwanted suckers will be removed so that water requirement nutrient requirement competition jo hoga, wo kam hoga, right Another one you will find the word propping. Propping is nothing but giving support to the banana tree. Banana bearing plant. When bananas are having full mature plants, then they try to like shift, bend, right? So to stop this bending, to stop harming the crops, to st stop harming the fruit, we basically support this banana tree with this propping, right? One more thing over here you will find is a denaveling. Or over here, just check out the spelling also, guys. Denaveling. Now, denaveling. See, the word is difficult, but if you don't, if you know, you know, very easy. But if you don't know, then you will get confused. Basically, it is nothing but removal of male part or male bud after pollination. After male has done his work, he will be removed. Let me show you what you are seeing over here. This is the flowering. Flowering gave us fruit. And over here, this is the male bird. Now this male bird, if attached, then it will be taking up nutrients, water requirement, everything will be taking up, right? So in order to basically cut the competition, this is cut down, this male bird. And this is nothing but denabling in banana terminology, banana cultivation terminology. Another terminology you will find is a mat stocking. It is nothing but the after harvesting when you have harvested these bananas cut down this tree from this particular stem right like this you cut down again banana tree will emerge and this is nothing but the ratoon cropping which you have also seen in sugarcane cultivation so mat cocking is basically this or spelling you can take it out guys because a bit somewhere it is written something mat cocking write this write down after harvesting after harvesting basically a pseudo stem is left basically a pseudo stem should be cut leaving a stem leaving a stump 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 of about 0.6 meter height right this is your mat cocking now what you have to do just see in youtube how this is being done in actual in field farmers have like some uh, people have like made the videos of doing this so this will only five minutes five minutes each five minutes to propping five minutes to denabling it should not be like that now you have understood every aspect of mat talking right because nobody will ask you this in detail nobody will ask you 250 words on this you try to understand guys what I'm trying to focus is you should have certain two, three lines on every aspect like desuggering, propping, denabling, metaphoring, right? Now, another important thing is your plant protection. This is very important about knowledge of pest and diseases. 
so first plant you will first plant pest you will find is your stem borer guys stem borer but it does actually it get in inside the plant like this and it will pour like this right create a hole like this and it will leave the particular banana tree or banana plant as yellow so in order to remove this you have to destroy the whole part from where uh, of where he has infected or you should completely destroy it and what is utilized 0.04 percent of endosulfan though it has been banned but in the books it is written 0.04 and percent endosulfan see these stem borers like this you will see in the plant in this banana plant guys all right these are certain aphids second category first is your stem borer aphids third is your uh, rhizome weevil and fourth is your banana beetles banana beetles see this i have taken from icar website directly you should know pseudo stem weevil and rhizome weevil banana beetles these three you should know okay just pause the video and read it out you have to apply carbofuran for this okay apply quinfos for this and apply spray carbaryl for banana beetles whereas for diseases you should know one two three four diseases panama wilt anthracnose bunchy top virus banana panama wilt is yellowing of leaves of top sites let me show you guys are you seeing this this is wilting panama wilt okay what you can do search it down give five minutes to panama wilt search it down on google what i am saying 30 minutes i am taking 30 rest 30 minutes what you have to do you have to find out just see them right so that you can remember for a longer time period carbondism you utilize it so this is what we have studied in pesticides chapter in unit number seven what we have studied or in unit number six what we have studied of paper two of agriculture optional you will utilize over here certain pesticides will come again and again carbondism right we have this bunchy top virus also this disease is transmitted through the aphid we were re uh, reading right so this you should know guys diseases so what you were seeing over here is panama wilt this is your siga kota disease this is your bunchy top disease right whenever when you will search on your own too, similar thing you will find so over here this chart will further come down to mango you have done banana musa paradisica deep alluvial well drained soil climate you should know 20 to 30 degrees celsius 120 centimeter of rain varieties a lot of varieties we have done special horticulture practices propping denaveling desuckering two three lines two three lines on each propagation method rhizome nothing but the suckers your seed rate spacing planting season this should, you should know 1.8 meter 1.8 meter fertilizer dose 240 200 over here pest you will find we will affect tiga gota bunchy top panama wilt right this you should remember for your pop guys and how question have come in uh, like once or twice on banana you will see uh in last 10 years banana uh, a question on banana i'll show you see guys directly they have given in ifos describe the package of practices of banana cultivation in north india that means you have to write it eight for eight marks that means whatever information we have gathered that can be added into this banana cultivation also so like that for mango cultivation it can come in mango they have asked you specific something specific right banana cultivation if they will add some specific part then four or five parts they will add so don't worry about they will not say denaveling explain denaveling in 250 words no that thing is not going to come so whatever you are studying is good enough right and then add 30 minutes of your own time understand these things which we have studied and then it's good to go guys okay so revise this banana next lecture we will introduce some new crop and we'll try to understand the pop of that crop thank you so much till then revise and learn this lecture again guys okay thank you so much